Hello, my friends, and welcome to Florida. Good morning, happy Monday, coming at you for the first time as a 35 year old woman and I couldn't be feeling better about it. As you guys know, my in-laws live in South Florida and that is where I am. That's where I'm gonna be hanging out for a couple of weeks. And so all of my vlogs and vlogmas is all gonna be coming from here in Florida. And it is great to have a reprieve from the cold weather that had just started in Minnesota. We left the day after it snowed overnight, the first snow, and luckily none of it stuck. The weather was not bad for our drive. It's a long drive to get down here, but we we survived. We saw the first snow, not the first blizzard, but the first snow, and I was happy to leave that behind for a couple of weeks. Granted, I know that it's Minnesota, so like we're gonna get back, and winter is still gonna be in full force, probably, a, I mean, no probably, absolutely a lot more than what we left, but you know what, that's fine. We're gonna take and embrace this Floridian weather, although I'm currently hanging out in a new Panthers hoodie, in or not hoodie, sweatshirt, in my summer colors, um, which is great, navy and burgundy, like they're the right colors, not black, because it's cold outside, cold. It's like 68 outside, so I am in shorts, but I'm in a sweatshirt, and I am just getting things unpacked. We got in last night, yesterday was my birthday, November 14th, and I spent the entire day in the car, <laughs> which was fine. I got peppermint mocha from Starbucks as my free beverage, and I even treated myself to a cranberry bliss bar. A lot more calories than I normally spend at Starbucks, but you know what? It was my birthday, so it didn't even matter. And then we drove and drove and drove. We got here about 7.30 p.m., and then we, of course, had to unload the car. My mother-in-law actually got me a nice little red velvet cake and brought me some flowers, and um, my husband and my in-laws gave me a present. This was part of my present, although I knew this was coming. But um, And it was just a nice little celebration. My birthday was not forgotten. And on Friday, we left Minnesota on Friday and then we spent Friday night at my grandparents house and my grandparents also threw me a little birthday party they had my mom my dad my sister and Alice over and my aunt came over as well and um, we ordered pizza and they had a purple birthday cake for me because Marilyn goes above and beyond <laughs> and so we had a little birthday celebration there too which was wonderful and um, yeah and so then now we're here in Florida and it's Monday which means I have things I need to <laughs> Do today. Um, so I thought I would just kind of bring you along with me for a day in the life. The first thing I'm doing is I'm getting my little office set up, which is actually at a desk right outside our bedroom, which I'll show you in a minute. And then we have to get rid of all of the clothes. Can you see? I've got stuff everywhere because we unpacked the suitcase, meaning we got all of the packing cubes. And um, I guess the more appropriate word is we emptied the suitcase yesterday, last night, late last night. Um, and so today I'm spending the day getting unpacked, getting things in dressers because we're here for a couple of weeks. So we can like thoroughly unpack and move in and everything. Um, I have some client check-ins to do. It is Monday, so it is client check-in day. And yeah, gonna get some work done, gonna get some YouTubing done all sorts of things. I got plenty of things to show you along the way. So if you're new here, hi, I'm Brianna, the diva behind Diva and the Divine. Welcome. The barking you hear in the background is my dog, Gracie, who um, is very angry because um, grandma and um, a friend are outside doing something and friend brought her little dog along. And so Gracie sees him running around outside and wants to be out there with him. Anyway, welcome to the vlog. what um, books came with me to Florida. I did have to pare it down. It was a lot of work, but choices were made. And here are the books that came with me. I brought one to watch, which is a book I've wanted to read for a while. Um, it's supposed to be one of those, you know, just feel good fiction type things. And I believe it is about, in a general sense, a plus size woman goes onto a show like The Bachelor. 
basically is what it's about. So I'm excited about that. Then I brought How Stella Learned to Talk, which we have talked about before. This is Stella, the first dog to communicate via button. And as that is something I'm going to teach Gracie how to do in the new year, I want to get this book read before I uh, start teaching her. And I am... I'm a chunk of a way in, but I still have a ways to go. Then I brought The Feel Good Effect. This is actually the Divine the Divine, Divine Book Club book for the month, and I'm really excited about it. I finally got started on it, and the introduction felt like it could have been written by me. Like Robin Conley Downs was talking about herself, and a lot of the expectations and things she was experiencing were things that I relate to. So I'm really excited to see where this book goes. Like I said, today's the first day I cracked it open for my morning routine today, and I am a big fan. I can't wait to see. And then I brought this one. This is by Jess Connolly. It's come highly, highly recommended. It's called Breaking Free from Body Shame, Dare to Reclaim What God Has Named Good. And it is a spiritual approach to breaking free from body shame, like a Christian approach and talking about how God's creation is good and all of that. And so it's supposed to help with your relationship with your body, which is something I'm actively working on as we speak. So these are the four regular books, like actual hard copy books that came with me to Florida. And I wanted to bring like three or four more, but I was like, no, let's be real. I got to get a lot better about being real about my expectations. And let's be honest, if I'm only here for five weeks, am I actually going to get through four whole books in five weeks? I don't know. Um, that's the goal. But you know, life happens. Next week is Thanksgiving week. And um, we just we just don't know there's other things happening here that we have to I have to help prepare for and yeah so I managed to knock it down from like six or seven books to four and be real realistic about it all right so I thought I would share my cultivate what matters power sheets the remainder of my order I ordered one of the custom bundles back when affiliates got to order and some of my items were not able to ship right away so they ended up getting shipped to Florida so I finally have my hands on them and I thought I would show you what they were and give you the in-depth look so first we have the wild cards pages I always buy the wild card pages I really enjoy them and then this year we have something new they have 100 intentional action ideas and then they have a couple of them that are different themed and I picked the wellness ones and the faith ones because these seemed really aligned with my goals so I figured we'd open these up and I'd show you a little bit about what's inside of all of them. All right, so in the wild cards, there are 24 different sheets. We have, of course, right away the goals at a glance. So these are an opportunity for you to write down your goals. You even have your little page flags down here. And as you do that, you can have it as like a little... Um, thing to look at. Let me make it a little bit darker so we can look a little better. There we go. A uh, thing to look at that's not having to open your power sheets, right? So you can kind of just pull this out and have all of your goals just kind of lined up for you and at a quick, quick, quick glance. So you can, I, I, so I like to take this and once I fill it out, I put it in a place that I can always see it. So my goals are always visible. And of course, there are four of those for each quarter of the year in case you end up refreshing your goals, changing things around and whatnot. Then there is a 2022 year at a glance calendar. And then there's a perpetual calendar where you can write down a couple of things that happen each month every year. I love this one. This is the fun list and it's just a little checklist of things you can write down to have fun. You can use it for seasonal lists or like romance things or friend things or bucket lists. Uh, there are 17 lines in each one. So for me, I, I don't do this well, but I really have every intention of doing it. I would use one of these a quarter and write down like quarterly fun things to do and check them off as I go. So you get four of those. Organization and decluttering. This is just a little space to declutter and then for the goal you want to schedule it and get it on your calendar a what to read next list books I've read this year this will be very very relevant for me since I have a reading goal this year and then the I don't know if you can see it but there's little stars so you can rate the books create a life-giving home this is kind of a cleaning schedule type thing once a month once a week every day and once a season so you can keep your home tidy and life-giving relationship tending, a friend I want to tend to and how I will tend to him or her. And you've got three of those. Financial check-ins, which of course I, these are great and all, but I never use these because my husband takes care of all of the financial documentation. 
um, go-to meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Go-to dinners, you can jot down your favorites. So whenever you're like, hmm, I don't know what I want to eat, you have a list of things that you always enjoy having for dinner. It makes it very, very easy. My daily rhythms, you get to write out your morning routine and your evening routine. A year of celebration. Every day of your life is a special occasion. Brainstorm ways to celebrate throughout the year. So this isn't write down your celebrations, but this is plan out monthly celebrations. Celebrating wins. Oh, I love this. So you get to just write down what wins you've been having and then the date that you do it. And you can do this throughout the year and collect an entire page of wins that you've had. And then this, is this new? I don't know. My legacy? What does it mean to you? Why does building a legacy matter? So you get to kind of plan out a, a legacy why type, type of thing, like work on your why, your legacy. Weekend reset. Oh, I like this too. This is new. Um, so schedule. So this is for you to prepare for the week ahead. You do a little weekend reset type of thing. So you reset your home, your schedule, your food, and your heart. And then you can look at this every week. Hey, Gracie. So the weekend reset ends up being something you can fill out. And then every week you can look at it and make sure you have gone through the entire reset process. I really like that. So those are the wild cards. I'm very, very excited about those and I'm about to determine whether or not I'm excited about these. These are supposed to have 100 action ideas for the theme. So let's take a look. Let's start with faith. We're just gonna pull out a couple. Shush. We're just going to pull out a couple and see what it's all about. So here's what the deck looks like. And then you just pull one out. Oh, this is the little intro card here. So it says measuring your faith by how you feel day to day can leave you discouraged. Phew. Good news, a faith that's alive is cultivated through daily consistent actions and a willing heart. This deck gives you simple, actionable ways to live out your faith in just a few minutes and with simple, a little preparation. Simply choose a card each day. So maybe not like action items like you put them in your power sheets, but more just like a little something to do every day. So let's take a look. I don't want to hear it, Gracie. <laughs> so here is an action step. Briefly write out the story of your faith so far. Take a moment to reflect on where you were and how you've grown. Try this format. When I was younger, I blank, then blank, and now blank. So there's one. Let's grab another one. From the middle of the deck here. Here's another one. Share a verse with a friend or family member. So these are just little things that you can do every day. And let's do one more. Take a nap. Yes, really. God desires physical rest and restoration for you. Even Jesus took naps. Well, you can't argue with that, can you? All right, now let's do the wellness deck, shall we? Good news, wellness is cultivated in consistent actions that add up on, over time, not by grand gestures once in a while. This deck is designed to give you simple, actionable ways to care for your mind, body, and soul on a daily basis. In just a few minutes and with little preparation, simply choose a card each day, little by little, it will add up. And this is mind, body, spirit, or mind, body, soul, and there are three different shades of green. So let's do some five actionable wellness items, shall we? Let's see. Define what good health means to you. Spend a few minutes brainstorming, then write down, write it down somewhere so you can see it each day. And that's a mind one. Okay. What's this one? Oh, this one's also a mind. Let's see if we can find a body one or something. Hmm. Here's body. Go for a short hike, even if it's just the park down the road. A walk in the wild fuels mind, body, and soul. That's a great suggestion. So then let's do this one. This one is for your soul. Be on the lookout for something beautiful today. All right. I pulled out this one, so this will be number four of our five action steps. Define your why for moving toward and maintaining good health. Write it down somewhere you can see it every day. This will keep you motivated in the long term. Y'all, this is super important. And then let's pick one more body one. Make your favorite healthy meal ideas and recipes easy to access. Organize them in a Pinterest board, keep them in a Google Doc, or print them out and keep them in a binder. All of these are great ideas. So basically you can pull one out and do one every day, do a couple a week, things like that. So I have the one for your wellness and your mind. I will link all of these products down below for you. I think they are all still available, but I'm super excited that I have the rest of my power sheets order now. Happy day.
Well, hello. Happy now Wednesday. Oh my goodness. Yesterday was a day. Today is going to be a day. But I wanted to add just a little bit more time into this vlog before I called it. Um, let's see. What has happened? Yesterday, I uploaded my I tried the new Weight Watchers plan video. And oh my goodness gracious, the responses. <laughs> Let me tell you. Um, some very, very positive. Some people are offended by my own personal opinion. And that's totally fine. If you want to be offended by it, go ahead. Uh, but it has been very interesting. It has opened a lot of great conversations. I've been getting a lot of great feedback, DMs, and things like that of people thanking me, of people asking me questions and doing all those things. And it has been a very um, interesting and engaging experience. And I really, really enjoy any opportunity I have to deeply engage with my community. I love that. So if you haven't already checked out that video, I will put that link to you for it right here and in the description box. Then what else is happening? I just just published a post on one of my OG clients, one of the first people to sign up with me, I posted her weight loss results. And those weight loss results involved her losing almost 30 pounds in 20 weeks, which are just amazing results and are results that I am so proud of her for. And I think I'm going to go into more details in a different video about how exactly I got her to do that. And finally, today is an incredible day to be a member of the iTrack Bites community because as you probably have seen right now, iTrack Bites no longer exists. They got a total rebrand and I am now a coach for the app Healthy and I am so stinking excited about it. When the CEO dropped this bomb on us, I was like, oh, like you should have seen how giddy my face was at the meeting we had. I I'm so stinking excited about this rebrand. Now, fear not, and I'm going to probably do a whole other video on healthy and what has changed and what hasn't. What hasn't changed in the short term is if you are an iTrack Bytes user, your plans have not changed. The interface has changed. There, um, There's a lot of really exciting things coming, but the plans as we know it, Conquer Cravings, Carb Conscious, Sugar Smart, Better Balance, Keto, and Calorie Command are all the same. They're all the same. So don't worry. We're not, we're not adding a bunch of different plans or changing plans around. We are staying consistent with the plans that we already have. And we are just adding to things to make them even better with what we already have functioning. So I'm so excited about it. Technically, right now it is 11.53, so it has not been announced to the public yet. So technically, you're the first to know, but this video doesn't actually go up until after the launch has happened. So I'm anxiously awaiting noon central time is when the announcement's going to happen, and I'm so excited. So there's just been a lot of really great things happening on the internet, and it's just been it's been crazy. Panthers won their game last night. I broke in my new sweatshirt to a success. It was great. Um, and I'm still hanging out here in Florida. And in late November, you know what I'm going to do for a workout today? I'm going to go get myself some vitamin D in the form of beautiful 80 degree sunlight. Happy Wednesday. All right, friends. I love this product. You guys know it. I have one literally sitting right here on my nightstand from last year's kit. This is the kit I got for Christmas last year. The little guys are different flavors than they were last year. Last year was like mint chocolate and lemon, and then the big one was of the berry flavor. I'm still working through the big one. So this kit has literally lasted me and will last me over a year. Um, the reason I'm going to tell you that you need this in your life even more than you did last year is because this year it came with this. It came with a little silicone guy so you don't have to stick your finger in the pot. And last year, it didn't come with this, and I was very, very sad about it because I knew that the um, the one that I purchased in the Korean store had this, and I loved this, and so I was so sad when this kit did not have it, and this year it does, and I'm super excited, and I had to tell you about it. And also, the mini flavors this year are nice and Christmassy. We have gingerbread and peppermint. So this is available, I know, at I think probably Sephora or on the Laneige website. I will have it linked down below. Also, we need to take a second and talk about what my husband got me for my birthday. Um, you know Funko Pops. Did you know that they had Hamilton Funko Pops? You probably didn't, and you do now. And so he got me the men. He got me Alexander Hamilton, Aaron Burr, and George Washington and I love them. They're so cute. So the complete collection also includes the Schuyler, the Schuyler sisters. Um, but how 
freaking awesome are these? I am almost positive that there are no other Broadway Funko Pops. If there are, and I don't know about them, let me know. All right, I have something fun today. I have a Wantable box here. Wantable is a subscription like Stitch Fix, um, and I wanted one of their themed edits, their holiday edit, but for whatever reason, when I signed up, I somehow signed up for not the holiday edit. So I think if the tracking information is correct, this is the non-holiday edit, the regular edit. And what you do is you go through the website and they give you like a stream of clothing based on your preferences for the quiz. And you can decline specific things and request specific things. So let's see what's in the box, shall we? Okay. So at first glance, I got none of the items I actually requested. So I don't know how any of that works. I requested three items for this box. None of them are in there. So I'm a little bummed about that. But also, I'm not necessarily mad. Granted, I have to try everything on. But I'm not mad about the choices they made. So first is this pair of pants and um, the Absolution Patriot Straight Leg Pant. Um, the shade is supposedly olive, but it almost looks like a, like kind of a stone gray, almost, which I'm not mad about. So I'm going to try those on. They have a super stretchy waistband, which I am very into, not going to lie. <laughs> try those on. There's this pink sweater, which is not, it, well, it looks, it looks real baggy. Um, but it's a medium. So all of my tops came in mediums. So we'll see based on the fit and everything how they actually fit my body. But this looks like it's going to be too big, but maybe not. I don't know. But it is in a summer-ish color, I think. I came with my, yeah, totally. This totally blends into these shades right here. Um, I brought my color booklet with me from when I got my colors done. So if I do any of these boxes or anything while I'm down here, I can match and make sure that everything is in my color season. Yeah, I did that. Um, this is probably my least favorite thing, just right off the bat upon looking. It is an open, open cardigan thing um, that has this pattern on it. Like, it's not terrible, but it's not what I'm looking for either. So there's that. This is something that at first glance I was like, nah, but then I'm like, well, let's try it on and maybe we'll see. This, I don't know if you can tell in the light or not, this is actually a navy based um, top that has like the little cinching here at the waist and um, the flower detail actually is also in the color scheme of my summer color. So this is actually a perfect summer colored top. Um, and to clarify, I don't mean summer as in for the season of summer. I mean for my color season. I had my color consult done not too long ago and I am a summer. So there's that. Then there's this. This is black, not navy. It's wicked soft though. <laughs> like I'm, I, I shouldn't be into black. I need to get away from black, but we're going to try it on and see just how cozy it is. Um, and then we have two completely different things. This is really soft, but like not in a fuzzy kind of way, but a very, very soft. I don't even know it. Wow. Um, so let's do a quick look here at, look at that. That appears to work too. Huh? Okay. And then there's this, this is absolutely not in my color season. This is a olive top, like an olive green with white stripes. And, um, my guess is it's, so it's super soft, which I'm way into, but there are two things about it that make me go, mm. one is the fact that it's olive. Don't get me wrong. I love olive green, but it is not in my season. And the other thing is look at the structure of these arms. I, it's one of those things where like the armpits aren't fitted, right? So it's kind of going to look like you have bat wings or something. Does that make sense? And I have tried tops on like that in the past and just really not like the way it look, looked or felt. So this one will probably be a no-go. That one's definitely a no-go. We'll see. Let's try them on. All right. So first we have the shirt, right? Um, this feels short. I don't know. I don't know. I want to like it, but it doesn't feel quite right, I don't think. I don't know. What do you guys think? 
And then the pants are fine. It's really hard to, really hard to see what the things are doing here. Like, they're okay. I don't love them. I don't hate them either. Um, this shirt has me really perplexed though. Just for reference, here's me in a different pair of pants. Okay, well the black sweater is awesome. It's comfortable, it fits. Like, I have zero complaints about this, except it's in the wrong color. <laughs> That's my biggest complaint. I like black and it's terrible, but I'm trying to get away from black. Now, I think there's a possibility that in the holiday edit, because I kind of cheated and took a peek at what was coming in my box, I think something with the same descriptor, but in gray, might be in that box. So I'm gonna look that up and see if it happens to be the same product in a different color, which would be super convenient. But I don't hate this at all, at all. All right, don't get me wrong. This is stupid comfortable, but what's happening here? I'm not, like, is it supposed to be a dress? Do I pull it down below my butt? I don't think that's how it's supposed to work. This is a medium, and this is like four sizes too big. So, no. And my suspicions were correct. Um, what? I don't... Again, it's very comfortable. I feel very warm and cozy in it, but... No, okay. So again, they nailed the comfy cozy thing. Like, that's great. And it has pockets, that's great. But I am um, not, my my body tape is, my body tape, my body type is more conducive to not stark straight lines and more flowy things. And this just is not, no. This is closer, we're getting closer. It is very soft, very cozy, not, I don't think it's quite there. I don't think it's quite there. I want to love this and I don't love it, unfortunately. All right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed that little try on. I'm still debating what to keep. It might be that navy top with the floral thing. It's different, but I think I like it. Anyway, I was going to do one more wantable try on for you. The problem is that box, which was supposed to arrive the same day as the other one, has not arrived yet and isn't arriving until like tomorrow. So it is what it is. You will see that in my next vlog. And on that note, I'm going to leave this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. Don't forget to hit that little subscribe button and join our community. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up as it really does help me out. Thank you for watching. Take care. I'll see you soon.